The new Ninja Hunt and Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker are very good for out of combat movement, but that's not what we're gonna look at here today, because in this video you're gonna learn how to actually fight with them, how to use Ninja Hunt in battle effectively, how to combine them with other moves, how to maximize their damage output, how to one-shot combo with them, how to use them as a combo starter to create nice openings, how to use them for crowd control safely, all that and much more. Let's go! So first of all the ninja hounds are actually pretty good at controlling enemies or protecting objectives because they knock back enemies really far. The only problem is that while running around the battlefield mid team fight, you would get knocked off your dock pretty easily once you receive any hits. But you can prevent that by protecting yourself with moves like Susno Armor or Demon Hunter while you are mounted. Now you basically turn into an unstoppable force that can rush through enemy lines at high speed, tossing enemies around, destroying their battle formation or interrupting their combos, which can be very annoying to deal with. I will give you a few more examples for moves you can do that with down below in the pinned comment. The dogs also scale with ninjutsu damage, so what I personally like to do, since I love to use them for combos or to get multi-hits with them from wall spreads is, I run increased or even greatly increased jutsu damage as a clothing skill and then I might also run some jutsu damage buffs from moves like teleportation or utilize defense drops as well to synergize with those. So once you've bumped up that jutsu damage high enough and have some protection from super armor or anything, the dogs all of a sudden are really good at punishing super armor. Especially super armored gap closers like Barry and Bullet Barrage or Zan Strike for example that lock your enemy into an animation that will hold him in place so you can get multi hits off with the dog and just one shot them straight away. That's a really powerful counter kill. Now when it comes to combos, everything that will hold the enemy in place so you can get multi hits off works perfectly. Stuff like water release bullet, wooden dome, sand coffin and also just other summonings as you can see in this clip right here. You just need to know how to place everything right. You need to know which combo strings of which weapons give you the right distance so the enemy falls just right and sometimes you'll have to make some manual adjustments with the positioning or timing as well. But yet yeah, those are technically possible to hit consistently if you exactly know the ins and outs of those combos and practice the execution a bit. Another really cool thing that I found out is, even though you're not able to pull the Ochiha shuriken while you are mounted, it is possible to do while you are still in the summoning animation, allowing you to hit with the dog and hold him in place with the overpull to hit again. Depending on the distance and angle, you can also set it up to have your oboe orbiting around your dog while you ride it. So that can be pretty cool too if you are skilled with oboe. You can also utilize things like the glimmering umbrella drones to hold an enemy in place after hitting them with the dog to use that as a nice little combo starter or combine them with other tools like piercing note for example for a little bit of extra damage and protection as well. There are a lot of different things you could come up with. Most people will probably just use the healer round for some out of combat healing, especially if they are using the chakra jump accessory where you have to be full life to get the buff, or just use the supply round to have a nice cycle with ninja tools like purple lightning or the healing spray for example. But yeah, I personally prefer the attacker one, just because if they are already giving us new summoned animals, I want to fight with them. I want to use them for combos and not just use them as a passive buff. I'm also not telling anyone to go out there and make builds around the dog trying to use that as your main source of damage or anything. I'm just saying if you happen to run some of these things that work well with the ninja hounds and get into a situation where that synergy comes in handy, you might want to know how to pull these things off. But it's also just cool as hell and that's enough reason to do it for me. I'm also still gonna do another video where I show you guys all the different one-shot combos I came up with in more detail. You already saw some of them in this one, but there are also gonna be a whole lot of other ones. So trust me, it's still gonna be worth watching. Peace out and never forget, if it has a health bar, it has to die.